Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about how to show whether a function is one one or on two. So let us take the first question. The first question is let f be a function from real line to real line. So f is defined from real numbers to real numbers by f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Okay, and I want to show that this function f is a 1 1 function. Okay, so all of us know the definition of 1 1 function is saying that if f of x is equal to f of y, then x must be equal to y. This is the definition of 1 1 function, which is usually used while solving the problems. Okay, so this is just a recall of the definition of 1 1 function. So I will start with the first part. I will start with f of x equal to f of y and I will try to simplify it and show that x is equal to y. So I will say let f of x be equal to f of y which means that which implies f of x. How much is f of x? f of x is 3x plus 5 is equal to f of y. Just replace x by y. So what will be f of y? f of y will be 3y plus 5. And if I try to simplify this, can I show that x is equal to y? Clearly, this 5 and 5 cancels from both the sides. And I'm getting what? 3x is equal to 3y. And, there, and then again, I can cancel the 3 from both the sides. Or I can, can say divide both the sides by 3. And in this case, you will get what? x is equal to x is equal to y. So we started with f of x equal to f of y. And we have reached the point that x is equal to y. And this means that the function fx equal to 3x plus 5 is uh, what? Is a 1-1 is a one -one function. Okay. For example, if you draw the graph of this particular function, what is the graph of this fu function? y equal to 3x, y means f of x, correct. So y equal to 3x plus 5. What is the graph of this function? If I try to draw, if I take the value of x equal to 0, the value of y I will get is equal to how much? I will get equal to 5. If I take x is equal to, suppose I take x equal to minus 1, then in that case the value of y will be how much? Minus 3 plus 5 will be 2. So when I look at this particular graph here this means that 0 5 is a point okay and in the second part minus 1 comma 2 is a part by the point so 0 5 is a point on the y axis and minus 1 comma 2 is some a point somewhere here so this is the point uh, minus 1 comma 2 and if we join the points you will get what you will get a straight line the equation of this line is y equal to what? 3x plus 5. Okay. So this is actually the function. This is the graph of the this is the graph of the function. Okay. And you can clearly see that this function is a 1 1 function because if I draw a horizontal line passing through the function, it cuts the graph exactly at exactly at one point. So graphically also it is verified that this function is what is a 1 1 function okay let me do a second problem now i'm going to take a function f which is defined from real numbers to real numbers by f of x is equal to e raised to x okay is f 1 1 function we will now check whether this function is a 1 1 function or not. So how will I solve it? I've, again, I will solve by assuming that let fx be equal to f of y. And I will try to check whether we, we get x equal to y or not. So what is f of x equal to f of y means? f of x is nothing but e raised to x is equal to, this is e raised to 
y can i show that x is equal to y from this expression so if i take logarithm to the base e of both the sides log e e power x equal to log of e log to the base e e power y so this will mean that i'm getting x log of e to the base e equal to y log of e to the base e but log e to the base e is one so this is x into one is equal to what y into one and therefore we conclude that x is equal to x is equal to y so this means that this function f of x equal to e raised to x is clearly what is a one one function okay what is the picture of the exponential function we all know that the exponential function actually looks is an increasing function it's a rapidly increasing function and it is a strictly positive function okay this is the function f of x equal to e raised to x right and uh, if you look at the picture can we uh, easily see that the function is a one one function yes because if you draw any horizontal line that horizontal line cuts the function exactly once whenever it cuts it cuts the function exactly once suppose i draw a horizontal line which is which is passing from the negative y axis it does not cut then i don't have to worry about it uh, so whenever the horizontal line cuts the graph it cuts the graph exactly once and therefore graphically also we can say that this function is what this function is a is a one one function okay let me do the third example now so let us take f defined from r to r by f of x is equal to log x to the base e okay and now we want to check whether is this function a uh, one one function is f one one function so the definition says that let fx be equal to fy and this means that log x to the base e is equal to log x to the uh, log y to the base e and therefore when i take the exponentials which is e raised to log x to the base e is equal to e raised to log y to the base e but what is e raised to log x to the base e that is simply x and this is how much this is simply this is simply y so you again you get that x is equal to y and therefore the function f of x which is equal to log x to the base e is uh, which type of function clearly is a one one function okay and if you look at the graph of this function clearly all of us know the graph of the logarithm function logarithm function is actually defined for all only positive values of x okay so here i should write in the question that f is from what f is from positive real number so let me just put a r plus what is the meaning of r plus r plus means what r plus means all positive real numbers okay so we will draw the graph only for positive real numbers for negative the logarithm function is not defined even the logarithm function is not defined for x equal to 0 so we all know that this comes out to be the graph of the logarithm function it it is an increasing function it is a smooth function it's a continuous function but it is slowly increasing it does not increase like an exponential function it's a slow increasing function and if you draw any horizontal line passing through the function it cuts the graph exactly at one point and therefore graphically also we are very we have verified that this particular function f of x equal to log x to the base e this function is a is a one one function okay so this is the way you check whether the function is a one one function now let us see one example of a function which is not a one one function so let me write the fourth question take the function f from r to r and what is the function i'm defining f of x is equal to x square i'm defining a simple parabola y equal to x square is f one one
okay now if you try to if you try to go by the routine method if you say that if fx equal to fy i will start with fx fx equal to fy and i will try to check whether x is equal to y you may land up into some problems for example what is fx equal to fy means fx is x square equal to what is fy just replace x by y so you'll get y square x square equal to y square if you get x square equal to y square can you conclude that x is equal to y so the answer is no because when you take square roots on both the sides what will happen you will get x is equal to x is equal to plus or minus y so you won't be able to conclude surely that uh, is x equal to y so i'm not sure okay so therefore here i cannot say that the function is a one one function a one one function but i'm not confirmed right so what we will do is we know one more definition of a one one function what is the other what is the original definition of a one one function that if a is not equal to b then f of a should not be equal to f of b this is the original definition which is done in the previous class okay if this condition is satisfied only then i will say that the function is a one one function so what we will do is we know that we have two different numbers so if i choose a equal to 1 and if i choose b equal to minus 1 clearly a and b are different numbers because 1 and minus 1 are different right but what is happening to f of a and what is happening to f of b what is f of a f of a is a square f of b is b square why because f of x is how much f of x is x square so what is f of a f of a means f of 1 f of 1 is 1 square which is 1 what is f of b f of b means f of minus 1 what is my f of minus 1 means minus 1 square so minus 1 square is again 1 so what we observe here is that even though a is not equal to b a and b are two different numbers means one is not equal to minus 1 what is happening f of a and f of b are coming to be equal how much are they coming they are coming equal to be 1 right so f of 1 and f of minus 1 both are same right so this is not allowed what is the definition of a one one function says a one one function says that if a and b are different numbers then f of a and f of b must also be what must also be different numbers so here that property is not satisfied and therefore this tells us that the function f is not f is not a one one function right even if you draw the graph of f of x equal to x square you know the graph of f of x equal to x square which is y equal to x square is a simple parabola okay i'll just draw that parabola here so this is a parabola y equal to f x square which is f of x equal to x square right now this graph also tells us that this function is not a one one function because if i draw a horizontal line passing through the curve this horizontal line cuts the graph at two points okay and we know that this is not a property which is shared by the one one function if it is a one one function then the graph will cut the uh, then the horizontal line will cut the graph exactly once so even graphically this tells us that this function is not what this function is not a one one function the above fact that i have shown you f of 1 and f of minus 1 that you can see from the picture also look at this point is a is 1 and this point is what this point b is minus 1 okay so this is uh, so this is a way you show that a function is uh, not a one one function okay